Minnesota Fine Vikings pulled an extreme home makeover on the cornerback room this offseason, and one of those key planks, one of those foundation, one of those pony walls, yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, was first round cornerback Jeff Gladney El Jefe coming out of TCU. Just this fiery, feisty, spark plug, uh, press man specialist. And I was pumped. I, I really liked uh, Jeff Gladney in the draft process and you know, going through the process. I ever knew that Gladney uh, would be getting meniscus surgery, an injury that plagued him uh, the entire 2019 season. The fact that he played through it, pretty damn tough. Like Adrian Peterson had, had a similar injury, uh, meniscus injury in 2016. Didn't play through it. Not saying, I'm just saying. Uh, as well as uh, Gladney performed at the Combine with that injury. Now, still pretty damn impressive that he ran a 4.48 with it uh, and could certainly explain away the head-scratching 7.26 uh, three-cone, which is down in the 4 percentile, which is not great. As well as, you know, that lack of agility did not show up on tape. And, and that's the thing with the Combine, is that it's just a snapshot of that day, that hour uh, of their athletic uh, ability. Now, it doesn't factor in like, hey, maybe they had a lot of beans for breakfast and maybe they're just gassing all over the place. Actually, that would make them go faster or if they're dealing with an injury at that at that time because, I mean, 10 years from now, Jeff Gladney and Cameron Dantzler could be two all-pro cornerbacks. Uh, and then you just look back and like, oh, well, what about Gladney's three-cone? Man. All right, so everyone knew that Gladney would be coming off of surgery uh, when the Vikings drafted him. No harm, no foul. Still was a first-round uh, caliber talent. and uh, But with no rookie camp, no OTAs uh, this year, people didn't really have an idea uh, if Gladney would be limited, and if he was, to what degree? Well, we'll finally have our answer, as the Vikings have been uh, keeping the training wheels on Gladney, limiting him in drills, limiting him in practice uh, as he eases back into football work. And if you saw on the uh, on the stream yesterday, uh, he's got a thick, you know, bulky brace on that right knee. Now, it's it is still a sleeve brace. It's not one of those uh, you know mechanical uh, type braces that offensive linemen uh, typically wear, but still there. So now, normally. Yeah, not a big deal. Kid still has a lot of talent. Was a first round pick for a reason. You know, eventually, throughout camp and throughout the season, uh, he'll take over for one of those rugged veterans had who had, um, you know, the time has expired on them. Your first round pick is going to be good to go. But with the Vikings, like the Vikings cornerback room this year is really going to be like a full on Hunger Games. It is going to be like a Lord of the Flies uh, situation where uh, there's such a power vacuum at cornerback uh, and there's going to be such a major land grab going on right now for uh, who's going to be where on the on the Vikings cornerback hierarchy is that if Gladney even misses a, a couple practices or is just slow uh, to get in. He may lose a spot. He may really lose a spot because you've seen the round pick Cameron Dancer steal the show yesterday, as well as uh, you know throughout uh, training camp thus far, uh, as well as uh, you know with Dancer, he could uh, essentially be cementing himself a starting spot opposite of Mike Hughes. I think Hughes uh, is still going to be uh, the incumbent starter uh, for the Vikings, as well as you know all, all the praise for Holton Hill. Oh, he's maturing now. Can he be the same guy every day? Neville Clark, the UDFA from UCF. Shown uh, well already. Same thing with Harrison Hand, the fifth round pick out of Temple by way of Baylor. Uh, there might not be a spot when Jeff Gladney is finally given the green light. And that is an interesting problem to have where the Vikings, they have this first round pick, this first round talent. And all of a sudden uh, you have all these other young kids stepping up because, yeah, it is. That is the nature of the business. Next man up. So you got Dancer, third round pick coming up. You got Harrison Hand. You got Neville Clark. Uh, you have all the other uh, young cornerbacks really stepping in and getting after it. And it's beautiful to see. You feel bad for Gladney, but also. It is what it is. But also, uh, what's going to happen is that fans will be like, well, I mean, he obviously must be a bust. You know, first-round pick, can't even get on the field over a third-rounder, a fifth-rounder, and a UDFA. Shoot. Well, that's certainly not the case. Uh, so he, I, I do understand the Vikings' caution. I, I think overall it is the best uh, for Gladney, as the Vikings obviously him uh, see him as part of their big long-term plans. Uh, and, and but you know he's a he's a tough, he's a competitive kid. You know that he's just watching those first team reps and just like burning inside, which actually may, may be good too, because now you have a guy who came in the league with a massive chip on his shoulder, get that, that chip on his shoulder gets even bigger and he's going to be fully healthy and ready to go. And then all of a sudden you have multiple, just like alpha cornerbacks going at it in the Viking secondary. And it's like, Zimmer's like, did it again, did it again. But I mean, if Dantzler and company do play well early uh, and this drags on into the season, it may ha be harder for Gladney to get into the mix because I don't think that Zimmer's necessarily going to incorporate the cornerback rotation that he did towards the end of last year more on necessity because uh, Rhodes and Waynes were so damn bad.
So I, I'm not saying that he could be lost in the shuffle and it may be a lost season for him, but I mean, it, it's like giving everyone else a head start. And if everyone uh, in this track meet all have speed, I'm glad he may be lagging behind for a little bit. But again, it's a good problem to have that all the other rookie cornerbacks are stepping up and looking so damn good. But uh, your thoughts, Jeff Gladney, meniscus potentially costing him. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Pull us on the Venmo. But until next time, skull production value.